All right, morning folks, it's 5.30 a.m. here in Chicago. We're ready to kick the day off. Here's what you need to know today. Now, yesterday, interesting day on the stock market front. Started the day a bit higher, then in the afternoon session sold off hard. That NASDAQ finishing the day 2% lower. These tech stocks that were really popular during the pandemic period, names like Peloton, names like Zoom, really getting crushed. 10% moves uh, to the downside uh, in some of these day, uh, some of these names. So some big moves, particularly in that NASDAQ. We'll see how that carries on in today. Right now, these markets are trading a bit higher as interest rates are trading lower. Now, where else are we seeing volatility? Well, right now, really, aside from those tech names, the volatility is in oil. We've seen 6% moves the past two days, 6% higher, 6% lower. This morning, we're another 2% lower as this ship in the Suez Canal has been jammed up for going on, well, it's three days now. We'll see if they can uh, dislodge it today. It's the estimation, get this, the estimation is it's costing about $400 million an hour uh, by sitting there uh, jamming up the Suez Canal. That's big money and it's impacting that oil market. So if you're looking for some price action right now, oil is where you can find it. Over in FX, continue to see that dollar holding strong. We're right around 118 in the euro, uh, British pound around one spot 37, and that dollar yen up above 109 now. Let's go out there, let's get some today. I'll check in with you folks again tomorrow.